Okay, in this lesson we're going to build a Magic 8-Ball app. If you've started the lesson from the Magic 8-Ball template, you'll want to save it as a new name. So I'm going to save the project as simply Magic 8-Ball. And the template provides you with some materials. For example, it has an image for the Magic 8-Ball. It has a label for the question, a label for the answer, and a sound component built in. So the first thing, let's actually set the picture for the Magic 8-Ball image. I'm going to get the image and I'm going to set it to that. And there we go. And I'm going to actually go up to my screen and I'm going to set everything so that it aligns in the center. Okay? Now, we need a couple of other components here. One is text-to-speech component because we're going to have this Magic 8-Ball speak to us. And I find that in the media drawer. I'm going to pull that in. And another component that we need is the accelerometer sensor because when we're going to shake the app to make it generate a new answer. So I think that pretty much completes our user interface for now. Our labels are set by default to ask the Magic 8-Ball a question, then shake the phone, and the answer label is set to nothing initially. We're going to provide that as the Magic 8-Ball generates its answers. So let's go over to the blocks editor then and code the behavior of this app. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a variable to store the predictions that the Magic 8-Ball is going to make. So I'm going to get a variable here and I'm going to name it predictions. And this variable is a going to be a list. So I'm going to create an empty list. Then I'm going to open this mutator and we're going to have eight predictions altogether. So I'm going to put eight of these in there. There we go. Then I'm going to close the mutator up. So what that accomplishes is I now have eight slots in which to put my predictions. Each one of these is going to be a text. So for the first one, I'm going to put Outlook Uncertain. And for the second one, I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to put Probably Yes. I'm going to put six more messages like that. Okay, so I've got my eight messages set up. And that list really isn't going to change. What we're going to do is we're going to randomly pick one of those messages each time the user shakes the phone. Okay, so now that our list is set up, let's program our accelerometer. So the only event we want to worry about in this app is when the phone is shaking. The accelerometer is what detects that, and we have an event handler block for that when accelerometer sensor dot shaking. What I want to do in that case is randomly select a prediction and set the answer label to that prediction. So I want to set the text on the answer label to a random element of this list, to a random prediction. So fortunately there's a function in our uh, list drawer that lets us pick a random element from a list. And the list I'm picking from course is my predictions list. So I have, need a getter and I need to get that whole list. So to review this, I'm getting the entire list and then taking a random item from it and I'm setting the answer label to that. Let's now connect to the device and test this. The app is now running on my device. When I shake it, it shows the no way. So let me ask it a question. Are you happy with my app so far? Maybe. Okay, so the shaking works and the random selection of a prediction from the list works. Did you notice how the app uh, flips its orientation when I shake it? So I'm going to fix that by going into my designer and I'm going to set the screen's orientation property to portrait mode. So now it will always stay in portrait mode. It will not rotate like that when we move it. The other thing I'm going to change is I'm going to center this text inside the label. So I've clicked on the label and I'm going to have it align the text in the center. And similarly, I'm going to do the same thing for my answer label. And actually, I might as well make it a little bit bigger too. Okay, one more test. You like these new changes? Probably yes. Good. Okay, so far so good. The next enhancement we want to make to this is instead of it just displaying the prediction, why don't we have it speak the prediction? And for that, we're going to need the text-to-speech component. The block we need is we want it to speak whatever message we give it. I'm going to take the text from the label where I stored the prediction, and I'm going to assign it as the message here when I shake the phone. Okay, so now I've made that change. So I'm going to go back to my app. 
and I'm going to test that that works okay. So I would shake it. Without a doubt. Could you hear that? Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Probably yes. Now the last little enhancement we're going to do is we're going to have it also make a sound, play a sound when the phone is shaking. We already have the sound component, but we need to set its source to one of the media files. I'm going to have it play the cha-ching sound for now. Okay, so I'm choosing the cha-ching sound. Now I'll go back into my blocks, and to have it play the sound, I'm simply going to pull the sound.play block out of the sound drawer, and that should do it. So I'll go back now and test the app one more time. Is this app just about finished? It is certain. Did you hear the ka-ching? Reply hazy. Aha. Uh -huh. No way. Not sure I like it because it sort of overlaps with the text-to-speech, but there it is. Perhaps you can decide on your own whether you want one or the other of those features.